Hey guys, I hope you're hungry. Welcome back to War Stories here on the Colon Sims channel. My name is Jericho. So for today's War Story, I'm going to be reviewing the Belco Experiment. Um, I actually saw this movie by myself while I was on my recent business trip. If you missed, um, if you don't know what's been going on in the channel lately, there was a state of Colon Sims, which I guess would have been about two weeks ago at this time, like last, like a week ago last Thursday, like ten days ago? I don't know. Um, but basically, I was on a business trip in out of town, so that's why last week's schedule is a little bit weird. Um, this week has been uh, back to normal, as far as I know. This is Thursday. This video is coming out on Thursday, actually. So yeah, two weeks ago we had that war story. Um, <clears throat> so I was on the business trip. I went and saw a movie um, by myself. I saw the Belco experience. So I'm going to do a, a just kind of a short little review. Um, it's more difficult to review movies. Uh, just speaking by myself, I like having someone else to. Um, kind of bounce ideas off of and agree and disagree with and you know, whatever the case may be. But um, I liked it a lot. So the Buckle Experiment, um, we'll do uh, spoiler free this time. It is uh, much like it is a everybody has to kill each other movie um, in the vein of, um, I don't know what the, the very first one is. Um, the example I always use is Battle Royale because it's not as well known as like Hunger Games. And I feel like Hunger Games cribbed a lot of its ideas. And Battle Royale is my very favorite book and one of my favorite movies. Um, so I think it doesn't get nearly the uh, I'm doing awful nearly the credit it deserves. Um, so yes, we're, we are set in a office building in Ecuador, and uh, the doors lock, and they say, "Hey, if you guys don't kill some of each other, we're gonna kill more of each other." And they prove their point pretty early on, and we go through the stages. And um, the one thing I liked about the movie is I thought it did some to subvert the expectations of this genre of films. Like, typically, like, in the example of, you know, well, Hunger Games is different because they, they know what's coming. It's not a surprise. It's a huge surprise on Battle Royale in this. So that, that is, that is one, one thing that's a little different. Um, but in both Hunger Games and Battle Royale, and again, in Hunger Games it makes sense, but the, the, the participants immediately start to kill each other. Like, they're, oh, okay, great. And they're all into it. That is not the case in this at all. Even after they know, like, of course, there's always like the, oh, this must be some somebody's weird idea of a joke or a prank or something. They have that stage. But even after that, um, they, you know, a, a lot of the characters take the stance, particular, um, usually taken by the protagonist in these scenarios, which is like, we're not animals like we're not gonna kill innocent people even though even though we're gonna die anyway like we would rather you know we would rather just die than become murderers and <clears throat> again unlike battle royale or whatever that lasts uh, a lot longer than usual like it, it, it's pretty far into the movie um, by the time people are really kind of going crazy and really giving into this um, scenario um, uh, so yeah, I, I thought that was pretty cool how it was not, you know, and again, subverted is probably too strong because it, it also does a lot of the tropey, expected, cliche things. Um, like, they have a very contrived reason for everybody to get guns inside because it's an office building. I thought it would have been much cleverer if it was like, and they even build it as like office space meets Hunger Games. So like, I thought like they would be like, like whipping each other with staplers or throwing, throwing printers at each other and stuff like that. And that happened some, um, a, a little bit. Um, but the vast majority of the kills are people shooting each other, and that's kind of disappointing, especially with it being like a creative director and a creative setting for it. Um, so that, you know, that wasn't as great. Um, and the CGI, um, there's one, the, the gore effects for the kills are, are quite good, um, really good, in fact. Um, and then some of the other things, the explosion and fire, so it all looks pretty good. Um, however... The, the CGI of one scene where, where they're like locking down the building, there's metal like closing down all the windows and doors and stuff, looks awful. It was like a, like a PlayStation 1 game, just the very obvious, like, like Smallville was the comparison I made uh, to my wife, where it just looks like, just, uh, just obviously a computer is just printing it over the, the set, and it does not look good at all. So that kind of sucked. Um, but the performances are really good, it does do some interesting things. I really like the soundtrack. I, I just have come to expect that from James Gunn at this point with um, how good Guardians of the Galaxy was. And speaking of, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 should be in my next movie review in just a few weeks. Um, and while I'm on that subject, I will come back to the soundtrack. Well, okay. Finish soundtrack thought first. It picks some really cool eclectic rock songs, you know, like like he's you know become known for. But 
they're all in Spanish. There's like a Spanish version of California Dreaming plays a few times, and there's um, a few others. I feel bad that I don't remember them off the top of my head now, but it's, it's been a while since I've actually seen the movie and finally back in town to record. Um, but yeah, I thought that was cool. I mean, like, not like the most s subtle, clever trick of the book. Like, it's, it's set in a Spanish-speaking country, so let's make it the Spanish language songs. But it's it's neat, and it helps set the tone um, and the setting better than just using regular songs would have been. But yeah, I, I did want to speak to one other thing. So we've been reviewing movies kind of late lately. Um, like, Get Out, we didn't do until like two or three weeks later. Kong was even longer. I think Belko's Fairy might be longer still. But that's not my plan. That's not like a, a permanent change in War Stories. In fact, whenever it's a really long time, that might be something that Science Century and I just talk about in, um, like, while we're playing Marvel or something. Like, that is not how I intend War Stories to be. I want it to be as soon. Like, typically the movie comes out on Friday and I have it ready for Tuesday's War Story. That's, that's what I always shoot for. And it's not like I've willfully chosen to not do that. It's just how, how things have, have worked for me lately. Um, but, like, for the Guardians review, I fully intend to see it, you know, right away, as soon as I can. And, you know, part of it is, like, I, have, I got 50 subscribers on YouTube. I'm not getting paid to see movies. I'm not getting to see them early, by any means, or for free. So, I see it as soon as I can, but my schedule has to line up, and I almost always see it with either um, Science Century or Iceman, and their schedules have to line up, too. So, it's not so easy. Um, but yeah, I would like to return to um, seeing movies right away and reviewing them right away. Um, so yeah, don't think that that's any sort of um, any sort of change on the channel. That's just sort of the way the situation has been lately. Um, the Belco Experiment, if you can still catch it in theaters, I would I would recommend it. Um, it's cool. It well acted. Um, John C. Hinckley, who plays Kelso on Scrubs, has a good turn as one of the, um, the, the sort of antagonist characters. Michael Rooker, who is, I guess it's a James Gunn film, so he has to be in it. Um, he has a he has a, a, a nice little role as well. Um, less I see less of him than I would have wanted to. I definitely could have used more more of him. Um, the main characters I don't really know much of their work outside of this, but they all do well. The main guy does a good job. Um, I think his name was Mark. But yeah, fun movie. Glad I saw it. Don't don't go. I, I don't know if I'd go crazy out of my way. Maybe wait for DVD or Redbox at this point. But I would recommend the Belco Experiment. One of the better... No, I can't say one of the better movies I've seen in theaters this year. But it was fine. I'm glad I saw it. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy War St this War Story, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of them on Tuesdays and Thursdays. But there's different content every single day on this ch channel. We got Let's Plays, First tr Impressions. We got co-op stuff on Sundays. There's something you will like. So subscribe, stick around, and I guarantee you'll find it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm full. <laughs>